right now, drivers in downtown Orlando are seeing another major change, all because of the I-4 Ultimate project. This one, though, involves a ramp at a pretty busy interchange. And Mark Lehman is covering for us live this morning right near I-4 and Colonial Drive. So, Mark, this could cause some extra backups while drivers are just getting used to it. That's why project leaders say drivers need to be prepared when they hit the roads this morning. Let me show you what's going on here behind me. Just within the last few minutes, some uh, construction work wrapped up out here. The eastbound lanes of Colonial Drive have reopened, but westbound remains closed at this time. Now, when things fully open up this morning, this change could catch many drivers off guard. Another week, another change for drivers on I-4, this time in one of the busiest spots in downtown Orlando. Starting this morning, things will be much different getting onto the westbound lanes of the interstate from Colonial Drive. Instead of being in the right-hand lanes that pass underneath I-4, they're going to need to be in the left-hand lane. Which means the old on-ramp on the right is going away. In its place is a new ramp for drivers who will have to wait at the light and then turn south down Huey Avenue to access. There will be adding a, a traffic signal there, so that's going to obviously add some time. Uh, the longest that anyone would have to wait is a three minute light cycle for that left hand turn to, to get that green light. It's all being done to open space for additional I-4 ultimate work. Eventually a frontage road will run parallel to I-4 near Colonial, but before that happens, this change is one drivers will have to get used to. There'll be some adjustment for drivers and it may take a little bit of extra time to get through there for the first couple of days until people adjust to that new change. And back out here live this morning, things are running just a little bit behind schedule, so we're not able to uh, see how drivers are adjusting to the change when the ramps uh, do open up out here. We're going to be keeping an eye on things. We'll let you know if there are any delays resulting from this new on-ramp opening up. And uh, again, we'll keep you updated with those uh, details throughout the morning. Justin. All right, Mark, thank you.